Uh, things are going well. Um, been out here throwing. Uh, been able to push off it a little bit. Have been doing you know anything crazy, uh, but we have going well. Um, getting a lot of treatment on it as well. So uh, everything's been going pretty good. JT, how how difficult has it been for you three guys that you're in this situation where there's very little role definition right now? Um, I don't think it's difficult at all, really. I think that's the thing. You just, um, you know, worry about yourself, um, trying to focus on getting better each and every day, whether it be my health or even out here uh, on the field and also in the film room and, you know, meetings and things like that. So focus of worry about yourself and then make sure you be able to compete when uh, you're able to. You know? How do you guys balance that being competitive with each other and being teammates with one another? I think that's, I mean, that's, I think that's like all sports, uh, especially at a high level, you, you know, you're going to be friends and things like that, you know, help each other uh, in order to get better, but also um, you still have the, you know, fight in you that, you know, you're going to compete, but then off the field, you know, friends and things like that, but it's always that inner competitiveness that everybody has, I think, on this team that you want to play at Ohio State and be the starter, so. Good day, how you, I'm sure you've addressed it. How you feeling? How, how much can you do right now? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, putting a little bit of pressure off it, uh, on it as far as uh, throwing the ball uh, downfield and things like that, but not anything crazy. Uh, I can see I wasn't running, uh, doing anything like that, but being able to throw the ball, which is uh, something I definitely wanted to do in spring. How different is Tim from Beck from, uh, from Tom Herman, JT? How, how different? Yeah. Um, a lot similar. Uh, <laughs> if anything, Coach Herman was a guy who was a, really wasn't athletic. He kind of stood there behind the quarterbacks. Coach Beck's flying around, you know, running around, hair on fire type deal. But uh, no, both uh, good coaches, uh, you know, still getting a feel for Coach Beck uh, being that he's got here. But uh, it shows that he cares a lot about us. Um, being that he just came here, but I, I don't think there's uh, a lot of difference. Good JT, coaches. where do you think Braxton's head is right now? Does he seem here to stay, or you, you, you sort of predicted everybody was going to be here? And it, Appears they, they are. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That was the thing. Like I don't know what some of the, the media things that were coming out talking about Braxton Cleveland, uh, Ohio State. I mean, that's. I think that's really silly. But um, nah. Does that I mean, seem even more far fetched now or no? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not Braxton, but I mean, being that I do talk to him like every day, uh, I think it'd be something me and you both be shocked at if he was to leave. So, yeah, I don't I don't know. I think it's really ridiculous, honestly. But yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's the type deal. There's competition and, you know, he's already graduated and be able to go somewhere else and this and that. And I don't I think y'all just looking too much into it or as the media as a whole, not you specifically. <laughs> but.